Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for May 9th, read by Scott B. from Detroit, Michigan. AA thoughts for the day. Anonymity. We have denied ourselves personal government, professionalism, and the right to say who our members shall be. We have abandoned do-goodism, reform, and patternism. We refuse charitable money and prefer to pay our own way. We will cooperate with practically everybody, yet we decline to marry our society to anyone. We abstain from public controversy, and we will not quarrel among ourselves about those things that so rip society asunder religion, politics, and reform. We have but one purpose, to carry the AA message to the sick alcoholic who wants it. Bill W., Language of the Heart, page 211. Thought to Consider AA is not something you join, it's a way of life. Acronyms Anonymous Actions, not our names, yield maintenance of unity and service. Just for today, well worth the effort, from having fun yet? We aren't a glum lot. If newcomers could see no joy or fun in our existence, they wouldn't want it. We absolutely insist on enjoying life. We try not to indulge in cynicism over the state of the nations, nor do we carry the world's troubles on our shoulders. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 132. When my house is in order, I find the different parts of my life are more manageable. Stripped from the guilt and remorse that cloak my drinking years, I am free to assume my proper role in the universe, but this condition requires maintenance. I should stop and ask myself, am I having fun yet? If I find answering that question difficult or painful, perhaps I'm taking myself too seriously, and finding it difficult to admit that I strayed from my practice of working the program to keep my house in order. I think the pain I experience is one way my higher power has to get my attention, coaxing me to take stock of my performance. The slight time and effort it takes to work the program, a spot check inventory, for example, or the making of amends, whatever is appropriate, are well worth the effort. Daily Reflections, page 31. Daily Reflections, Walking Through Fear. If we still cling to something we will not let go, we ask God to help us be willing. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 76. When I had taken my fifth step, I became aware that all my defects of character stem from my need to feel secure and loved. To use my will alone to work on them would have been trying obsessively to solve the problem. In the sixth step, I intensified the action I had taken in the first three steps, meditating on the step by saying it over and over, going to meetings, following my sponsor's suggestions, reading and searching within myself. During the first three years of sobriety, I had a fear of entering an elevator alone. One day I decided I must walk through this fear. I asked for God's help, entered the elevator, and there in the corner was a lady crying. She said that since her husband had died, she was deathly afraid of elevators. I forgot my fear and comforted her. This spiritual experience helped me to see how willingness was the key to working the rest of the 12 steps to recovery. God helps those who help themselves. As Bill sees it, the way of strength. We need not apologize to anyone for depending upon the Creator. We have good reason to disbelieve that those who think spirituality is the way of weakness. For us, it is the way of strength. The verdict of the ages is that men of faith seldom lack courage. They trust their God, so we never apologize for our belief in Him. Instead, we try to let Him demonstrate through us what He can do. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 68. Big Book Quote Faith without works was dead, he said, and how appallingly true for the alcoholic. For if an alcoholic failed to perfect and enlarge his spiritual life through the work and self-sacrifice for others, he could not survive the certain trials and low spots ahead. If he did not work, he would surely drink again. And if he drank, he would surely die. Then faith would be dead indeed. With us, it is just like that. Alcoholics Anonymous, Bill's Story, page 14. 
24 hours a day. AA thought for the day. We alcoholics use so little self-control when we are drinking. We were so absolutely selfish that it does us good to give up something once in a while. Using self-discipline and denying ourselves a few things is good for us. At first, giving up liquor is a big enough job for all of us, even with God's help. But later on, we can practice self-discipline in other ways to keep a firm grip on our minds so that we don't start any wishful thinking. If we daydream too much, we'll be in danger of slipping. Am I practicing enough self-discipline? Meditation for the Day In material things, you must rely on your own wisdom and that of others. In spiritual things, you cannot rely so much on your own wisdom as on God's guidance. In dealing with personalities, it is a mistake to step out too much on your own. You must try to be guided by God in all human relationships. You cannot accomplish much of value in dealing with people until God knows you are ready. You alone do not have the power or wisdom to put things right between people. You must rely on God to help you in these vital matters. Prayer for the Day I pray that I may rely on God in dealing with people's problems. I pray that I may try to follow His guidance in all personal relationships. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. My name is Scott, and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952 through 2001.